Sophie, are we packing? Yeah, are we packing to go? Hey everybody, it's finally here. After months of planning and preparation, today is finally the day that Sophie and I take our first trip together. Sophie will be going on our very first plane ride as we travel from Canada to Portugal, where we're going to be taking a road trip across three European countries, starting in Portugal and then heading over to Spain, then France and back again to Portugal. I am so excited to share with you guys our travel journey and show you our experiences as we take on this new adventure together. Now let's get this puppy ready for her first flight. Come on. Our day starts off like any other with a few snuggles in the morning and Sophie enjoying the early morning sun for her potty break. Our flight isn't until 11.30 p.m. so I have the whole day to finish packing and getting everything ready. Sophie had her breakfast in her crate and then it was time to start packing. Oh my goodness, we're gonna go on an airplane. Yeah, we're gonna go on an airplane. You have no idea. I'm a little worried in terms of packing because I want to make sure I bring everything we need for the both of us, but since we're traveling with Air Transat, we have a weight restriction of 23 kilograms, which may seem like a lot, but it's funny how quickly you reach that 23 kilo limit, and I definitely don't want to go over it. Hey, treats? Mm -hmm. we're packing some toys. <gasps> yeah, some toys. Uh oh. Squirrel. Your caterpillar. All in there. Sophie, we need to pack that. <laughs> Now, as you can imagine, I spent most of the day running back and forth and making sure that I had everything we needed. And Sophie alternated between taking naps in multiple different locations. Sophie, hi, is this another spot? Yeah. Hi, Sophie, are you helping me pack? So basically, just to summarize, our packing was me panicking and Sophie just relaxing and napping, but I wouldn't have it any other way. Look here, Blinky. Yeah, we're gonna use this on the plane, yes? No, 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 don't eat the Blinky. It smells like you and me. This is what I mean by Sophie not being a blanket kind of girl. She'd rather eat the blanket. After leaving Sophie to chew on her blanket a little bit, I packed a little bit more and I decided it was time for both of us to take a break, so we played a little bit downstairs in the basement to have a little bit of fun time together. About half an hour before our taxi arrived, I felt like Sophie and I both needed some fresh air and to take some deep breaths before all the stress of handling the airport. Sophie did something that was actually quite unusual when we went outside. Usually I just let her out and she does her business while I hang around. But today she kept looking for attention, so I decided on sitting down with her in the grass and she kept on wanting to give me kisses and snuggles. And I don't know if she was feeling my stress and anxiety or if she just really wanted to share a little bit of extra love, but she is honestly the sweetest sweetest little thing so we enjoyed some fresh air before we leave Canada for a little bit. Sophie, why are you hiding under there? You know we have to get ready to leave, right? The taxi's gonna be here in 20 minutes. Come on, let's go get ready. Come on, we're leaving. Come on, let's go. Come on, baby. I don't know why she doesn't wanna leave. All right, we have 10 minutes until the taxi's gonna get here. I have all our suitcases here and we're gonna get Sophie ready to go. She's very excited, but she doesn't actually know what's coming yet. I'm very nervous. Today's temperature was a very humid 40 degrees Celsius, which as you guys may know is way too hot in general, but especially for our four legged friends, which made me a little worried. My original plan was to take Sophie for a longer walk just before the taxi arrived to take us to the airport because I heard that it was really good to give your dogs exercise before a long flight. However, that did not happen. If you guys have heard on the news, Pearson International Airport, which is the airport located in Toronto, Ontario, and Canada, it's been having a 
a lot of issues and delays and that's the airport that we're going to be flying out of. I know that's your bag, isn't it? Yeah. Both the airport and multiple news outlets are warning travelers to plan accordingly and to arrive at the airport three to four hours beforehand for any international travel. Since this is my first time traveling with a dog and I didn't know what to expect or what possible additional delays may occur traveling with Sophie, I decided on arriving at the airport four hours beforehand, which meant that when our taxi arrived at 7.30 p.m., it was still way too hot to go for a walk and we weren't able to get in any of that exercise that I wanted to do with her, but I figured it was better to arrive early and have enough time to go through all the lineups and worried that we wouldn't make our flight. Our travel agent had advised us to head over to special services at the air transat counter when we arrived at the terminal. This is the counter that handles any travelers with strollers or wheelchairs or any other special needs. It was actually really awesome that we got to go to this counter because there was only four people ahead of us in comparison to the main lineup, which had hundreds of people. When we spoke with the agent at the counter and showed our passports, the only additional thing we had to show for Sophie was her paperwork that I had filled out with the vet a few days ago. This paperwork included proof of rabies vaccination, microchipping, and all the completed veterinary certificate that I had filled out with the vet and got certified by the Canadian Food Inspection Agency in order to travel to Portugal. Through security. Sophie. Next up was security. In the lineup, I kept Sophie in her crates, but when it was finally time to go through the screening, you have to take your dog out of their carrier and place the carrier on the belt so it can be screened separately. And then you walk through the metal detectors with your dog in your arms, and you're asked to move over to the side where another security agent will pass a rod along your hands to take a swab test to make sure there isn't anything harmful on you or that you're traveling with anything harmful. The whole process took about five minutes. Sophie didn't seem to mind any of it. I'm really glad it was quick and easy. Sophie was absolutely amazing throughout our whole arrival and check-in process. The airport has signs saying that all pets must remain in their carriers while in the airport, but there were quite a few other travelers with pets on leashes, so I decided on taking Sophie out of her carrier for a little bit as well. We're getting some food. So yeah, she was hungry. Yeah, she was very hungry. And Sophie just finished eating, so now we're gonna eat ourselves. I felt so much better once we had finally made it through security and into the gates, especially because it meant we finally got to eat something. We got some burgers and Sophie ate her food. I of course had to put some extra special treat sprinkles on top of her food so she would be more motivated to eat because I did want her to eat before we went on the flight. And Sophie of course also got a couple of extra treats from the table because she was being so good at the airport. We decided on taking Sophie for a little walk in the airport because we still had some time before our flight and I wanted her to get a little bit of exercise. We found one of the pet relief areas, but I think Sophie and I shared the same sentiment that it looked kind of gross and she did not want to go there and potty. Sophie, do you gotta go potty? Sophie, you gotta go potty? Or go... she goes to the carpet. Do you wanna go potty? You might have to step in with her. Step on the edge there where the pink pads are. Do you wanna come here? Inside. Inside. Sophie, come inside. Yes, good girl. Oh, how gross is this in here? Oh yeah, she's like nothing. Sophie instead decided that pooping in the middle of the airport would be much easier. And shout out to my sister for picking up Sophie's poop. Sophie. We headed over to the gate about half an hour before boarding started and I think Sophie and I were ready just to get on the plane and finally chill out for a bit. There wasn't any specific boarding procedures when it came to getting on the plane with the dog. I was a little nervous when it came to taking off because I didn't know how Sophie would react to the drastic change in pressure and the sensation in her ears. Good girl. I gave her some treats while we waited for takeoff just to get her used to being underneath the seat in her carrier and then I kept an eye on her as we settled in for our flight. The trip from Toronto to Porto, Portugal is about seven hours and we had almost an hour delay so overall we spent close to eight hours in the plane and I think it was really awesome that the flight was at nighttime because that's when Sophie would normally sleep so I think that really helped make the flight easier for her. Overall Sophie spent the whole flight laying down at my feet in the carrier. I wasn't allowed to take her out of her bag so she had to remain at my feet for the duration of the flight. She didn't show any signs of anxiety or panic like pawing at the carrier or panting and for most of the flight she spent it lying down and sleeping so I'm just really glad and happy that it was an easy flight for her.
I want to show you guys this clip from our landing. You can tell that Sophie's totally ready to get out of her carrier and stretch for a bit, just like I was. And I don't think she was the biggest fan of the plane landing. After arriving in Porto and going through security check-in at the airport, I had to visit the airport veterinarian. This is required for anyone traveling with pets and it's located just inside the baggage claim area. There was a very long delay with receiving our suitcases, so I decided on visiting the vet with Sophie while my sister waited for our bags. The vet was phenomenal and she allowed Sophie to hang out in her office while we checked over all of her paperwork and explained how things worked with a certificate I filled out in Canada and how I need to use it in Portugal. I can definitely give you guys more information on that in a future video if you guys are interested. After our airport vet visit, Sophie and I waited for what felt like forever for our suitcases. There wasn't a pet relief area inside of the baggage claim and I had to wait until we got our suitcases and left the airport to let Sophie go potty. But surprisingly, Sophie didn't need to potty in the airport so that was really good. While we waited for our suitcases, a lot of people came up to say hello to Sophie and a lot of them wanted to ask how I travel with her. Hi. Hi. You okay? It's so cool to hear that more people want to travel with their dogs, but it seems like it's difficult to find the right information on how to travel, and most people think it's a really costly and complicated process, so I'm glad that I'm able to share any information here with you guys to show you that it doesn't have to be complicated and confusing. Finally, when we had our suitcases and we were able to leave the airport, our parents who had already arrived before us in Portugal came to pick us up from the airport, and Sophie was absolutely ecstatic to see them again. Let's just say I was really happy that we brought extra tissues Shoes with us because Sophie did a lot of excited peeing. Oh my gosh, there's so much pee on the floor. I know, I see them too. I can't believe Sophie and I are here in Portugal. We had an amazing travel experience and I would definitely recommend traveling with your dog if you're able to. As a first time dog owner, I was so happy to see how well Sophie handled her first flight. And now we're so excited and ready to start our new adventure here in Portugal and show you guys all of our new experiences. I know a lot of you guys are interested in traveling with your dog, so send us any questions you may have and stay tuned because I'll be sharing a lot more videos on everything you need to know to travel with your puppy. I really hope you guys enjoyed our video please give us a like if you did and if you haven't already please do subscribe you won't want to miss all of our new upcoming videos thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time bye guys